Hi there, Danny here from Tradeify. Today, I'll guide you through all you need to know about using quotes on the Tradeify mobile app. Whether you're new to Tradeify or just need a refresher, I'll show you how to create, send, and manage your quotes. Let's start by navigating to the quotes page. First, log in to your Tradeify mobile app and look for the sales tab on the bottom of your screen. You'll see a quotes section. To access the quotes page, click the See All button. Here, you'll see tabs with different quote statuses. This allows you to quickly access your drafted quotes and those awaiting acceptance. To see your full list of quotes, simply select the All tab. This will display all of your quotes regardless of status. There are two ways to create a new quote. Select the New Quote option from your Sales page or press the large blue plus button from your Quotes page. Both of these options will open the quote creation form. The first step in creating a quote is adding your customer's details. Start by selecting an existing customer or add a new customer by selecting the Add button in the top right. For this example, I'll add a new customer. You'll notice when adding a new customer that you'll have the option to import the customer details from your phone's contacts. Once you've added your customer to the quote, you can also add the job location as a site if it's different from the customer's address. If your saved customer details include a site, this will populate for you automatically. Next, we'll fill in the quote details. Assign a reference number or name to the quote for easy identification. Set the quote date and expiry date so your customer knows how long the quote is valid. And add a description for the quote that clearly explains what the quote is for. Now it's time to add the line items to your quote. Line items represent the products or services that you're quoting for. To add a line item, click on the Add Line Item button. You'll have a few type of line items to select from. Time allows you to enter your estimated labor. Price list items allow you to select any existing products needed for the job that you have added as a price list items in your Tradeify account. Kits are a collection of materials, labor, and miscellaneous costs that are bundled together to make up typical services for a business. Or miscellaneous for unexpected materials or items that might not be part of your price list. Repeat this process for each item that you want to include in the quote. Once all the line items are added, Tradeify will automatically calculate the subtotal, tax, and total amount for the quote. Review these amounts to ensure that they are correct. You can also manually adjust the tax rates if needed. You can provide any additional information as part of your terms and notes at the bottom of your quote. These may include payment terms, deposit instructions, or any other relevant information that you need to communicate. If you've already added terms as part of your document theme, these will be pre-populated for you, but you can make any adjustments if needed. After reviewing all the details and ensuring everything is accurate, we recommend previewing the quote to see how it will look for the customer. You can do so by using the I button at the top of your screen. Once you're happy with the quote, you have two options. Save the quote as a draft by clicking Save in the top right. This will allow you to come back to finalize and send it at a later date. Or finalize and send the quote to your customer now. Click Approve to make sure that you aren't sending your customer a draft quote. And once approved, hit the email button in your quote. Give it a final once over, and when you're satisfied, click send to email the quote directly to your customer. Your customers can accept, decline, and comment on quotes from a trackable link. To do this, they simply need to open the link within the email sent to them from Tradeify. This will automatically update the quote status for you in your Tradeify account. If a customer verbally accepts a quote, you can update the status of the quote manually using the response button inside of the quote. There are several options available after your quote has been accepted. Your next steps will vary depending on your workflow. 
All of these options can be found in the three dots at the top of your accepted quote. You can create a job, which copies over the customer details and the quote description, and this also allows you to schedule in the work. Copy the quote to an invoice, whether it be for an initial deposit or the full amount, or copy to a purchase order to send to your supplier. And that's it. You've successfully created a quote on the Tradeify mobile app. If you have any questions, visit our Help Center, give us a shout, or check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon.